This is Seoul in South Korea. Let me show you why it has some of the best nightlife in East Asia. Seoul is a massive city with 10 million people and three major nightlife districts, Hongdae, Itaewon, and Gangnam. However, there are some smaller areas as well for a good night out, most notable Myeongdong, Uljiro, and Apgujang. In this video, we're going to check out the best rooftop patios, cozy speakeasies, the hottest and biggest nightclubs, from the best Seoul pub crawls, excellent arcade bars, fancy cocktail bars, juicy burlesque shows, cyberpunk alleyways, to Seoul's excellent date spots, summer music festivals, and the best places to mingle with Korean locals. But also how to not get ripped off by local taxis and ensure you don't find yourself stranded in a PC cafe. And of course, a ton of bonus tips. <laughs> Let's kick off this nightlife adventure in Hangdae. Because this is the university town, by the way. Right. Hangdae is the west end of Seoul. Lots of students. You would want to start at Honggaek Station and walk towards the famous Hongdae Shopping Street. On your way, you will pass many bars, restaurants, shops selling unique fashion styles until deep into the night, fancy karaoke, plenty of Korean street performances, <laughs> live bands, especially on the weekends, and if you are lucky, you may be able to spot some popular K-pop groups as well. We are kicking off the night for a quick drink at the brand new La Luz. A massive venue with some sweet arcade games like Initial D. Who doesn't love some humongous Jenga? A neon fluorescent basement with ping pong. A complete upstairs whiskey bar. And a large circus themed bar with affordable prices. A pizza slice, 4,000 won, 3 US dollars. A beer, 6,000 won, 5 bucks. Look at this place, nuts. Yo, this place is fucking sick. And it's free. Now, if you are new to Seoul and looking to make some new friends, join the official Hongdae Pop Crawl by Absolute. Absolute! The Pop Crawl team takes you to four bars and the best nightclub in town. For just 17 US dollars, you will be guaranteed to have an epic night with locals, expats, and other travelers. And learn everything there is to know about the latest hotspots in Seoul. Special tip, visit reformat.com to get an exclusive 10% discount on tickets. This pop crawl is usually very busy, so expect a good mix of people ready to jam it up. The crawl often starts at the retro game bar for some fun classic video games from a wide variety of consoles. <laughs> so we're at the pop crawl at the retro game bar. This is where the party kicks off. They have a pretty good drink menu with funky cocktails. Draft beers, four bucks, cocktails, seven. Not bad, pretty decent prices. Do not miss their funny toilet memes. Oh, I must. Next, Zen Bar, another great bar on this pop crawl where we were handed some welcome shots. <laughs> this place gradually transforms from a bar to a full-fledged nightclub, including a pool table. Moving on next door to Zen 2, in case Zen 1 didn't cleanse your thirst. And to the male audience watching, there are plenty of girls to talk to during the soul pop crawl. But if that isn't your thing, you can always rock out on these dancing poles. Yes! Another fantastic stop and a local legend here in Hongdae is Mike's Cabin. Welcome shots, good beats and a wild crowd. A great place to mingle and make some new local friends. Beers and wine, 4 bucks, cocktails starting at 5 bucks. The pop crawl often ends the night on Hongdae's most popular nightlife street, Wao Sao Ro Chip Chigi, at Club FF. A fun laid back party bar with music ranging from K pop to some retro 80s. A solid bar with great prices, bottle service, and a high energy crowd. Beers and cocktails, just 3 US dollars and 50 cents. One block over, you will find B1. This place is very popular in Hongdae and gets absolutely packed, even on weekdays. Go here for a solid selection of rap, hip hop, and RB. It's a typhoon! Another popular spot in Hongdae is Zigzag. 
If you like hip-hop and K-pop, you will definitely enjoy this place. Even their pool table doubles as a dance floor. The entrance here is free. Next door you will find Thursday Party, a large bar chain in Korea. Thursday Party always has an excellent atmosphere and a young, happy, international crowd. The entrance is free, but do remember to come early. The later you show up, the harder it will be to get in. This is the Sinkhole, a more low-key hip-hop and R&B dive bar. The venue is a bit smaller than most clubs in Seoul, but has a very chill atmosphere. Across the street you will find NB2, also known as Noise Basement. That's a very good service! Only two bucks! NB2 has been here since 1999, has two floors and offers a wide variety of music from modern pop to hip-hop music. The crowd is mostly Korean. If you are in the mood for some Latin vibes, head over to La Bamba. This place is often already rammed by midnight. Entrance is free. Notable mentions in Hongdae are Club G1 and Club Aura, located right next to each other, mainly visited by young Korean students with a preference for loud EDM music and large dance floors. For a hidden rooftop, check out Pink's, with views overlooking the main party streets of Hongdae. Please note that most clubs and bars in the Hongdae area typically close around 5 a.m., which conveniently coincides with the resumption of the first train services around the same time. Keep in mind that when it rains in Korea, you can expect a monsoon. <laughs> Soon it died down, but there's, it can get very rainy out here. Carry the umbrella. Yeah, don't forget your umbrella. At 5 a.m., we were ready to head home, but finding a taxi on the weekend at this hour proved to be quite a challenge, particularly for foreigners. Instead, we chose to visit a PC cafe. So we got overcharged for taxis to go back to Myeongdong. Usually they would charge like 10 bucks, maybe. But yeah, they try to charge us 45 dollars for like a 10 minute taxi drive. So uh, what do you do at that point? You wait for the train. Now the train starts running here at 5.30, so we figured let's spend the time at a PC cafe. Fris PC is located in the heart of Hongdae, a 24-hour venue where you can wait out the night until the first train starts running again. This was a hilarious experience where you can order lots of snacks, drinks, watch Netflix, and play unlimited amounts of video games or finish your homework. Oh, and it's two dollars per person. Two dollars per person per hour which is really decent. We got in here and we are sitting here. So imagine how big this place is. Moving on to the next district, Itaewon, best known as the foreigner-friendly nightlife district of Seoul. So if you want to have a fun night meeting Korean locals interested in meeting foreigners, this is your spot. Itaewon can be divided in three major nightlife streets, with each their own unique character. Bogongo, Gojipkoge, four unique bars and a more mature crowd. For the absolute party lovers, busy crowds, and people watching. Especially if you're single and ready to mingle. For the more laid back, upscale cocktail bars. Itaewon basically caters to a very broad demographic, from early 20s to late 40s. The best way, in my opinion, to explore Itaewon would be to kick off your night on the West End. I would start my evening here with a drink at the White Rabbit Tap House, known for their impressive selection of whiskeys, but they also offer excellent draft beers. It's a great spot to kick off your night in Itaewon. Oh, opa, cheers, cheers. Walk down the street and you will find Koli, a bit pricey, but a great place to mingle with locals and foreigners. Their second floor is quite cozy and is a great place to enjoy some quality cocktails. The most upscale cocktail bar on this street has to be Dresser Bar. The interior decor just looks fantastic, but does require a high budget to enjoy a couple of drinks. No coffee, no beer. Ah, pure cocktails. We got some good opening hours here, 7 to 3. The next street is Bogano Oshipkogi, which is in the lower area of Itaewon. Starting at Ugly Society Rooftop, this hidden gem has astonishing views of Itaewon by night. You will only find Koreans here and is a great spot to bring a romantic date. 
However, this place can be very hard to find. Go check my Soul Master Map on reformat.com for the exact location. You could actually consider this place a speakeasy because it was actually hard to find. Across the street, you will find Night Sounds, known for their vibrant burlesque shows and high energy crowds. The shows often take place on Friday and Saturdays at 12.30 a.m. But do confirm on their Instagram page. Entrance is free. <laughs> There is also the Parlor Soul, which often hosts live Korean hip hop events. Next, the main party street of Itaewon. Itaewon no Ishipshigage. Just like Hongdae, Itaewon has also a pop crawl. I definitely recommend you join this pop crawl if you want to meet some awesome Korean locals who love hanging out with people from all over the world. You will have an absolute blast. My favorite bar in Itaewon has to be Jack's Bar, a fantastic bar with a wide variety of arcade games. From Dance Dance Revolution to Initial D Racing, but also the gigantic Jenga. <laughs> Beer start at 5,000 won, 4 bucks, cocktails 7,000 won, roughly 5 bucks. The entrance is free, the arcade games are also free. The most popular nightclub in Itaewon is Fountain, a massive party venue with multiple floors, incredible decor, arcade games, and solid beats from top 40 to retro 80s. This place is crazy! Go here to party with a young, energetic crowd, but come early because lines start to form quite early on. Beers start at 5 bucks, classic cocktails $7.50, even for an Aperol Spritz. Oh, there's so many hidden rooms, it's unbelievable, it's such a great place here in Itaewon. Just like Hongdae, Itaewon also has a Thursday party. Go here for a young international student crowd. Apparently this is considered the last resting place here in Itaewon, the Grand Old Opry. Now when I doubt in Itaewon wouldn't be complete without a visit to Mama Kim's Grand Old Opry. Mama Kim runs the bar since 1975 and is still kicking it behind the bar at 84 years old. This bar has the lowest prices in all of Seoul. Yes, come back! Beers start at just 3,000 won. That's roughly two US dollars. Only 3,000 won for a beer. That's a steal. The best part, you can add your own favorite songs to their YouTube playlist. You just walk up to the bar and like play your own song here. <laughs> Notable mentions in Itaewon are Smalls, a hip cocktail bar just around the corner from the dresser bar. Prost if you want to mingle with the glamorous Korean locals. Off the record, an epic vinyl bar where the DJ takes vinyl song requests. Oh, look at this disco ball. That is massive. And Cake Shop for the more underground hip hop vibes. Apparently, my night wasn't complete without a local, authentic Korean drink. This is the Korean makgeolli. White rice, rice alcohol. alcohol. White rice, rice alcohol. 5%? It's, it's nothing. You'll be fine. That's very interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. You can try this yourself for just 50 cents at the convenience stores like GS25. Note, most nightclubs in Itaewon are open during the weekends from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. The cover charge can range from free up to 20 US dollars. One of the lesser known areas, but definitely one of my favorites, is Uljiro, located on the east end of the Myeongdong shopping district. Uljiro is known for having some incredible cyberpunk themed streets. Stroll around here and take those epic selfies. What do you think about this area? Okay. Cozy? Yeah, that's a cool spot for drinks with friends. First stop, Le Style Bar, located atop the Ibis Styles Hotel. This spot is renowned as one of Seoul's finest rooftop bars, offering some of the most astonishing views of Seoul and N-Seoul Tower. It is absolutely perfect for romantic evenings and sunset watching. The entrance is free, but buying a drink is expected. Drinks start at 9,000 won, roughly 9 US dollars. However, I do advise to reserve ahead. This place can get quite busy. One of the best jazz venues is Social Dive, atop of the Dare's Myeongdong Hotel, located just down the street from Le Style Bar. Enjoy quality jazz nights with great views of Ensoul Tower, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 9.30. However, a reservation is highly recommended. You can also visit the Dare's rooftop during the daytime for some great views of the city.
Walk up the street until you reach the heart of Uljiro with its cyberpunk vibes. The best bar in Uljiro is definitely Sunset Records Bar. Oh wow! This spot rocks a 1970s vibe, offering themed drinks and a classic ambience. You will find cozy booths and vintage TVs, along with a small shrine dedicated to retro pop stars. I love, love, love the funk in there. They offer an extensive collection of vinyl records, allowing you to request your favorite song. It is another fantastic choice for a romantic date. In the basement of this building, hidden behind a large bookshelf, you will find the magical jazz club Libro for some quality evening jam sessions. Also, consider attending the Urjiro Night Food Tour for a fun Korean food adventure. Check the links below. For shopping and street food, you gotta venture out to the Myeongdong District. Welcome to the Myeongdong District. This place is loaded with many shops and many street food vendors. Here you will find a wide variety of the most unique and authentic Korean street foods. However, it is quite geared towards tourists, so you will be paying a bit more than usual. If you like Korean food, you should definitely come to Myeongdong to try all the street food. Next, Gangnam. In Gangnam, you will find the popular Upgejung district, with lots of upscale bars and lounges, but primarily excellent cocktail bars like Le Chambar and Alice. The absolute best nightclub in Seoul was Club Octagon, a true party paradise, but has recently closed down. However, some are saying that it's making a comeback. Gangnam is not what it used to be. Many great bars and nightclubs have closed down over the years. I recommend going to either the Hongdae or Itaewon district for the most amount of fun. Immerse yourself in Korean culture by visiting Bukchung Hanok, a historic village located in the heart of downtown Seoul. At its center, discover a quaint rooftop lounge perched atop the Bukchung Asian Cultural Art Museum, offering these great views overlooking the historic district. Additionally, they provide traditional tea rooms where you can savor your drinks and capture some great selfie moments. <laughs> Summers in Korea can be very hot and sweaty, so what better than to cool off at the Water Bomb Festival? Water Bomb is a popular annual two day festival during the first week of July, where you can partake in water gun fights while rocking out to live performances. Ultra Korea a massive three-day music festival boasting the world's top EDM DJs, which usually takes place during the first week of June. There is also the World DJ Festival, WDF, during the same first week of June. For hip-hop lovers, you gotta attend the Hip-Hop Playa Festival located on the west end of Seoul. An annual two-day music festival taking place around springtime. The nightlife of Seoul offers an endless array of fun that can keep you entertained until sunrise. To make the most of it, I highly recommend downloading my complete Seoul master map. It includes all the locations I mentioned in this video, including walking routes plus a ton of extras, ensuring you hit all the top spots and don't wander around aimlessly. Truly, you shouldn't leave Seoul without experiencing its best party scenes. I truly believe this is the most detailed Seoul nightlife guide ever created, so please give this video a big like and leave a comment below to help the algorithm fairies. Now here are my bonus tips. The best time to enjoy the nightclubs of Seoul is between 2 and 4 a.m. A smart move is to collect stamps from various venues early on in the evening. This way you can easily re-enter without waiting in line, simplifying your night's logistics and saving you lots of time. For good date spots, visit the sheep cafe called Thanks Nature Cafe in Hongdae, where you can order drinks, desserts and play with actual sheeps. First you're gonna make a odor, just make sure your, uh, your odor is uh, nice and smelly. You gotta order something though before you can enter, so a coffee or some food. Take your date to End Seoul Tower for the best evening skyline views of Seoul. Discount tickets in the description box below. Another great date spot is window shopping in Hongdae's shopping street, where you may run into some cute cafes and local street performances. <laughs> Don't forget to check out numerous photo booths located in many of the city's major nightlife areas. A great way to have some fun and a good laugh. 
Many restaurants in Seoul are open 24 hours. Thus plenty of choice to end your night with some quality Korean dishes. From bulgogi to spicy pork bone soup. Make sure to order it with Korea's national drink, soju, which is similar to vodka but at just 20% alcohol. When a taxi shows pinja in red, it means the taxi is available. Yeya in green means the taxi is occupied. Hyumu in blue means the taxi is off work. Funny, isn't it? The meaning of red and green is reversed here. Experience the efficiency of Seoul subways, known for their speed, cleanliness and reliability, operating from 5.30 a.m. to midnight. But for an adventure beyond Seoul, to Busan and other locations across South Korea, don't miss out on the Korea Rail Pass. It is your ticket to unlimited travel throughout the country, offering convenience and great value. Also, when you land at Seoul Airport in Incheon, be sure to book your Erex Airport Express tickets to the city. All right, that's a interesting poopy bag. That's a big poopy bag. Wait, how big? How big? It's for lions. We were supposed to go to uh, the Buddha for Thai food, but uh, we switched. We sh switched our plans, <laughs> and we got some nice tacos. It's a shit show. It's a shit show. Holy fuck! <laughs> I'm playing some Doom. Oh, this is great. A good Korean nightlife adventure doesn't end without some Doom. You'll know you had a successful night out here in Seoul once you're covered in wristbands and a whole bunch of stamps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and a bunch of uh, invisible ones. Yeah, just an uh, average hotel room, you know, hotel rooms, but check this out. I thought this was garbage sorting. No, these are descending lifelines. I've never seen that in any hotel. Like what kind of emergency are they preparing for? They're all about skincare here. So you want to stay young forever? Get your products down here. And maybe plastic surgery. 